Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Once, almost 2,000 years ago, Blessed are those who there was a time thirst for what is right. when there was time. For they shall time fulfill. to sit on the dusty desert floor, to listen and hear. Blessed there was less cacophony are the merciful. and far fewer Christians. For they shall obtain mercy. There are over one billion Christians now and more rooftops from which to spread the good tidings. To help spread the word in Malaysia, the Catholic Communications Center, the forerunner of Chahaya Swara, was founded 30 years ago. Their evangelization efforts took them throughout the country. But resources were limited. I remember using the uh, big pictures on the life of Christ, on the Bible and all that. So we used to take that along. In time, modern equipment replaced the picture rolls. This projector ushered in not only a new communications age, it also inspired a youth. My parish priest at that time, former father, Laurent Le Guin, when I used to hang around his, his uh, office, watching those film strips, going through them, was fascinated with this, you know. He saw me do that for a couple of days. Then he said, look, do you want to play with it? I said, yes. So he let me use it. He gave me a complete free hand, and that was what started it all. So while he's attending the you know, grown-ups in that area, I used to show these kind of things. The significant renewal of the Catholic Church in the mid-60s after the Second Vatican Council had a profound effect on Chahaya Swara. And the Vatican II itself, one of the very early documents that came out was on communications. And uh, this kind of uh, made the bishops of every diocese pay attention to it, that they need some kind of an establishment that uh, looks after this particular, when it became a pastoral need. Through the 70s and 80s, dozens of programs were produced. Over the last 20 years, Paul Anthony handled many of the audiovisual and sound productions. One of the most interesting programs that I would uh, really ventured into was the production for Radio Veritas Asia, which is an uh, Asian broadcasting station based in Manila. We used to get uh, actors and actresses to come in and dramatize the Bible. Tuli Mundri Kurunadagam. Over time, the productions included programs on church events, on social problems, and even a documentary on Malaysia's first local Archbishop, Dominic Van Dagen. His Lordship is our first local bishop. Besides its own productions, Chahaya Swara also has a library of audio and videotapes for sale or rental. Now, I'm only running 10 minutes, and after which I want you to go back and read the Bible, all right, to know more about the story, okay? So you don't pay attention, please. Um, you, you're trespassing on this field. Oh, well, uh, we're strangers. Sorry. Oh, your travelers? Oh, they love it. They love the video. Whenever we say there's a video session, all will be present. After seeing the videotape, it catches them. It's in their mind. Okay, picture and so on. And when you talk about the story for that day, they understand it better. And finally, what happened? The giant yes. The giant died. The giant, the giant died. died. Killed by David with the help of. Oh. And then normally from there, they go back to their Bible. So it's a full story for them. And they will want to read because they have got part of it in the video. All right, so the, the main thing here is that the first interest is captured. A crucial mission of Chahaya Swara 
is the creation of an awareness of the impact of the mass media. And I think that is the biggest um, service that we can uh, do, that they have been doing and which we need in our church to educate our people on how to uh, read say the message of the mass media. It takes over. Television is not passive. Television is active. It takes over. You become part of the TV. I see, I hear, I feel. Television touches you. And fortunately, we have the people who are able to do this and who have kind of spared the time, given themselves to going around and making this available to parishes which are quite far and widespread. All media are really constructions of reality. It is the media are not the reality. They reconstruct reality. For an example, uh, we have here a headline of the NST. It says, no polls for now, says PM. Okay? NST says, no polls for now, PM says. This is a speech given by the PM and it's covered by NST. Now, the impression you get from this is that there will not be an election for the time being. Now, watch what the star has done. The star says, time right for elections. Okay? Now, this is the example of different coverage, same speech, same event, two different treatments. So, the question is, which paper you read will determine what information you get. What TV program you watch will determine you know, the content and all that. So that's why it's important to know that there is no reality in the media as such. It's a construction of reality and we would like people to recognize that as they deal with the media. The age of technology and the dominance of the mass media will continue to challenge the church. But the church has taken up the challenge and in upgrading Chahaya Swara has recognized the role it will have to play. Already this year, its audio productions have reached new heights. In collaboration with Michael Indran, it has pressed its first locally composed and produced CD. Thank you, Lord, for all the gifts you have given us. Uh, I would say that my dream has come true. All these 20 years that I've been in the center, I've been working uh, with equipment of, uh, which, are, which is of, I wouldn't say of low quality, uh, but limited stuff which we were not able to really do much and with this new center i foresee that we can do much more professional work and we can get more professional people involved in the kind of work that we are doing and also we can also facilitate others in doing professional work in the area of audio and in the area of video new media also has to be explored now we are not going to give ready-made program to them. We are going to, uh, they are going to demand for interactive program. People are, children are so much used to computer games. Huh? So we give a Bible program that should be interactive. And there are already some being produced overseas. So I suppose that uh, we will have to get into it uh, ourselves here also. But perhaps most importantly, it has to convince parishes throughout the nation of the importance of local level communications ministries. It's not possible for us to completely be involved in each parish. There are more close to 30 or 40 parishes in the Archdiocese. So it'll be good and it's being proposed right now, fortunately it's being proposed, that uh, we will now be able to introduce communications ministries in parishes these people will be in turn either be trained by us, resources to be obtained from us, and constant uh, interaction between them and us. The Good Shepherd Church in Stapak is a fine example of the successful collaboration between Chahayaswara and a parish communications ministry. Now, these seminars will be very crucial to us because they have 
sincerely change our lives. The way we look at things, the way we appreciate uh, things and around us and also movies. See, from there onwards, it started an inward change in us, which made us realize how important this uh, media of communication is. Um, all these external influences, there are a lot of competition out there that, that is hitting our heads, our minds, subconsciously, directly, indirectly. So um, we, we, need, we need to fight along with it. We need to use the same equipment, the same tools to fight it. And uh, this is the, that, that is why it's important. At Starpark, they are looking forward to the new facilities at Chahaya Suara. We have, we have some plans for the future. Like we're going to do more presentations, um, we're going to go and uh, do movies. We were hoping to do uh, documentaries and film. These are our future plans. Uh, and uh, the, the, this new facilities and all with the new building is going to be very, very effective uh, for us. And just as the facilities of the centre have had to move with the times, so too has its staff. The staff currently within the centre are all trained in specific fields. Uh, we have got uh, people trained uh, professionally in journalism, in television, in film production and uh, group media methodologies and different kind of training. But so in other words, few, uh, of course these are only the existing staff, that's only four of us. But in the future there is also a plan to take in more people in view of the, the broadening of the centre and the different other areas of work that is going to be involved in. Unlike in the early days where the church had tremendous influence because of its teachings, because of its learning, but now we have this new media that is taking over and that became the teacher, that became the informer, that became the formator. So the church has to get involved in that to find out what it is, what kind of shape it is uh, making, uh, what kind of uh, values, uh, systems it is forming among people. And can we now work on it to see that it becomes really fruitful for the growth and development of people. That's the commitment of Chahaya Swara. Through light and sound, and a clear understanding of the mission of the church, the word, now 2,000 years old, will continue into the future.